Welcome to Film Study, an All-American podcast with Lexi. I'm Lexi, and uh, yeah, as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Hope that you enjoy this question and answer session that I did with Carmen and Kaya. I've been sitting on this room for a little while, but yeah, let me know your thoughts. Hope that you enjoy it. Uh, some of our opinions may have changed over the course of the past couple of weeks, but yeah, here it is. Enjoy. So one of the one of the questions is, um, what do you see for the future? How will they be? Um, how do you think season five will look? What will what will their dynamic be, etc. Just all of that. Let's go, Carmen first. Okay, it's so like later on the sideline supporting her man, Jordan. <laughs> Uh, you know, making sure she got everything she needs before she go on tour. You know, mm-hmm. it's gonna be cute. You know, it's gonna be cute. Of course, they gotta have hiccups. You know, have to, but they gonna be good. Stay straight. <laughs> yep. Got That's it. what it look like. <laughs> okay, Carmen, I'm gonna agree with you. <laughs> <laughs> we gonna see her standing on the sidelines with Lip Girl. Oh, is she um, gonna go to GAU? Do you think she's gonna? Um actually go to college no i see i was thinking about that i i don't see her going back <laughs> like i know she's I don't know. Here. it might I, give it might give Liv like oh maybe i'll go to toledo maybe I'll go. i don't want to i don't want to make it seem like i'm going to gau just for spencer <laughs> I, i'm done i'll say if she does end up going to college though i do think it'll be GAU if she does decide to go to college. But right yeah. now, I don't see her like following through with just taking the gap year and going to college. I think it's just for Monica Records to the future. Like, yeah, yeah, that's. It. I think the, how they ended it with Clay and because she has to be focused on her label right now. Uh, I I can't see her ending her gap year just this this soon. Yeah, I mean, um, yeah. um, and so we got speaking of Clay. Do you all think that Clay is going to be a threat romantically? Um, I'm sorry. Is that enough? <laughs> I don't Love think me. he's going to be a romantic threat. I, I do see Jor like being jealous a, a little yeah. bit. He's going to be a business threat. He's going to be no threat. Business wise for Layla, yeah. But I think Jor, even just looking at the way Jor was when Simone was there, he's like, oh, what's Clay doing here? So I see him, like, just being a little bit jealous because him and Layla used to, you know, he was a little booty call for a little while there. <laughs> I, I see him just being slightly jealous, but I also see him being sure of where him and Layla stand going into season five. I think he'll more so be just agitated at the fact that Clay is going to be causing problems for her. because. Yes. I feel like he'll know at this point, like, yo, you ripped up my lady letter that she was trying to apologize to you Right, with. yeah. You ain't even read it. And I think he'll take all that into account and the fact that Papa JP didn't give him the label. It's just, you're not making things easy for my lady over here. So I think it's more so him being tight at Clay, Like, that he's right. still around at this point. Yeah, I don't think he's jealous. I don't, I don't I see jealous. I see more like, listen, I punch people every season. It's gonna be you this season. <laughs> right right it's gonna be him this he's season definitely season five. they're definitely both confident and like each like the way that they view each other i think they're very solid with how each other feels about them right now uh what is their dynamic going to be like uh how do you think they're going to um fit into each other's lives and who do you see maybe potentially doing a love confession first? Jordan, love confession first. Yeah, I did. Mm-hmm. You first. I think Layla might do the love confession first. Really? I think I've, I've come around to the idea that, like, it, there's two lines of thought here. She said, I love you to Spencer first or whatever, so they might have Jordan do it. But also I think, like, because we're going at Layla's pace, um, are we? He might wait until she's ready by showing she's ready by saying "I love you." My train of thought. I think I'm with Layla only because 
I feel like since she's already admitted to her feelings for him and he already knows that, there's no sense of like once she re- once she fully accepts that she loves him, I think she'll just automatically go and tell him just because at this point he already knows I have feelings for him and this is her person, you know. She won't let him know. Oh, we got another we got another poll going. You know, last time we had one for the kids. So. <laughs> right. <laughs> yes. And you won. You won, by the way. You won. Um, as far as their dynamic and how they fit into each other's lives, I think it's gonna be more of what we saw in I was say the same. Yeah. And the, how they've always so. yeah. The, how they've always been. How they've always been. Uh, it's gonna give it's it's especially I think four twelve is a very great look at their dynamic and and for um seventeen, awesome but it's gonna be like literally just what they were with Simone just to everybody else is what I think. What about y'all? Or right, Kaya, you just said same. Carmen, yeah, I think you? it's the same. This is like similar to the first question. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think it's the same. We've seen how they've been with each other a lot this season. So, I mean, they've yeah. been giving us a lot of Jordalo this season. Thank you very much, AA. Yes. Yes. I think um, there's going to be a lot more of this. They're comfortable around each other. How does everyone um, find out about them and what will their reactions be? You can just name anybody you want to for their reactions. Um, how- oh, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Oh no, I was repeating the question. <laughs> <laughs> How does everybody find out and what will their reactions be? I personally think that people are going to find out in like a staggered form because I think that the writers have made very clear that it's it's just the two of us. I'm about to say, I think it's saying a secret for sure. <laughs> um, so they're going to be a secret for a little bit uh, and then it's going to be people staggering, finding out about them. I don't know who is going to be the first. I think that JP already has some inclinations, but as far as the first in the friend group, I really just don't know. I think it could go one of two ways. Either Liv is going to be the first one to find out, or Spencer and Olivia are going to be the last ones to find out. I don't think they're going to be in the middle. So it's Spencer and Olivia are going to be the bookends of the finding out. Um, And I think that... Liv is going to be supportive, but also just like, how are you going to steal my best friend? I think might maybe a little jealous. Uh, but that's the only person that I know. I think everybody else is going to be supportive. I don't think it's going to be like, how dare you? But yeah, what do y'all think? I think, I mean, since I didn't get Sabine finding out, you know? <laughs> right. Um, at first, I was on page for a little bit. This was early, though. Early, Jordela. Um, now I'm on Liv. I think it's going to be Liv. I also think it'll be fun for Liv to find out. Like, I think it'll be the funnest for Liv and Coop to find out. But I think Liv is going to be the first one to find out. Just from the little inkling we got in, what was it, 17? Or 18? The football. Football field. Um, with her little look. I feel like she'll find out, but I think it's right. going to take 18. like a 18. couple of episodes. They're going to mm-hmm. be on their own living peacefully as they have been for a little bit, I feel, before even the first person finds out. I think Liv will take it fine. I think Spence will be Spence caught off guard, looking a little sideways. <laughs> um, Paige, she won't mind her business because she don't want to get barked at again. <laughs> and... <laughs> Coop is just gonna be like, ooh, Coop is gonna, Coop is gonna take she it gonna and be jokes. happy to make jokes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> make jokes. What about you? Oh, and after, after. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Who cares um, about? That? But yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> JJ is gonna be hype. Um, JJ is gonna be hype for them. I think JJ gonna be. <laughs> or it could just be another I you think... and Layla, <laughs> you and Ash. <laughs> I'm, t- <laughs> I'm kidding. You and Layla, sorry, go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> I think either Liv or Patience is going to be the first. Uh, we all know whether Liv find out first or Spence find out, they're going to tell each the other. They're going to tell right. the other. So, yeah. I don't think um, Liv going to have an issue with it, nor Spencer. Um, I think it's going to be the type of the t- the typical type of guy, I'm like, you know, hey, you know, just. I just want you to be happy. That's her favorite line. Um, <laughs> yeah, you know? So, you're going to be the typical guy. Um, 
if I don't think I don't see a reason for anybody to be who really would have the them. worst reaction to them. Maybe let's make this interesting. Who, if somebody would need some time to adjust to it, who would it be? Asher. Asher. Interesting. Interesting. <laughs> All right. Just to be different, I'm gonna say live. Just to be different. Why live? Um, because. Liv's thing is change, and I think that she's already going through so much change in her relationship with Spencer, and these are the people who have known her the longest, and my best friend's brother is the one for me, so she's the- Oh my god. <laughs> so if they play on the- I, I, To be fair, I truly think she's gonna be so supportive of them, but uh, I think it, if, if the writers wanted to go with somebody having- um, needing to like come around even if it's for like half an episode or something I could see it being Liv uh, just because she has to get a, used to this dynamic between Jordan and Layla that nobody besides like Simone and Clay have seen um, okay. but again that's just that's if the writers have I don't think the writers will have somebody be have an issue with it um, and, and not to say that would be an issue uh, but speaking of issues, what do you think might be some of their obstacles um, in their relationship? And someone mentioned that like there's always this idea of maturity. So and, and M- Michael Bailing actually mentioned it in his life. Uh, so is maturity going to be an obstacle? If not maturity, what other obstacles do you think will happen? Well, I don't think maturity because we we see at little albums are five too. Um, Lies uh, with to to a five year old. <laughs> just because just because you're uh just because we've been hanging out doesn't mean <laughs> it's Yo, giving no very much dirt. our script. It's giving very much uh very much uh. Can we just skip the part? He's definitely. St- I I mean personally, I think he's definitely still gonna have some moments moments where he needs to be more mature <laughs> oh definitely we know jordan can turn into the biggest baby um you know quickly but i think layla's up for the job <laughs> she is just like we know she knows, layla her, man. Just, she knows her man yeah we, just like layla layla have ways too and i just feel like okay of course they're gonna have issues and stuff but it's not gonna be nothing too you know, too big too I can't think. What would be something like really do a shake them? I don't think anything would really shake them. I yeah, think I just know. like little obstacles would be her with the record label now and So you think time? Maybe time? I don't, I don't think, think time is an issue. I don't think time is an issue. <laughs> well what I, we got I think you know what? what you know you know I think I think that their obstacle will be how far like I don't I think that their obstacle will be like together and how to like approach them being in a relationship because they are so close because they know each other so well um Mm -hmm. there's not like this you know there there's not this like getting to know you period uh and so they're gonna have to navigate that so I think that their their main obstacle is gonna be about how their relationship is changing and when is enough time to like in quotation marks get over Simone like when is enough time in Layla's mind and so it's just gonna be like as their relationship is progressing the progression that man of is over relationship. Her. Never mind. go ahead I'm sorry go ahead, huh? go ahead. let's say that man is over Simone we're not for the <laughs> <laughs> oh, I agree. But what I'm saying is just like because because Layla brought it up because Layla brought it up. So like mm-hmm. their progress, like the progression of their relationship, I think is going to be their main obstacle. You know, See, what? I don't even think it's gonna. I don't even think it's gonna take that much time. Like I think she said that now, but I think with him finding out that his hand is really broken, and with her seeing that Clay's here to stay and that he's taking over her daddy's record label. I see them coming together much sooner just because I don't think she's going to be able to resist him. And yeah, you know, she was mentioning the whole Simone thing, but this is her man. This she is doesn't care. She she doesn't care about Simone. Yeah. For too long. I think no, it's I more agree. so like him dealing with obstacles of like trying to get back to football, get back on the field following his injury. Huh? But I still think for the two of them, <laughs> I still think for the two of them, it's that like 
I, to be fair, I don't think she's going to resist for long, but I think that they're going to have to navigate their changing relation, like, as they get into a relationship, what, what does that mean? Like, them exploring what a relationship means for them together. That, yeah. But I think that'll come soon. Like, they're about to hop in this relationship. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. They're, she's not, she's not lasting. She's not resisting. Goodbye. Like. She's not, yeah. She barely, she barely put up resistance <laughs> in this episode. So, uh, <laughs> That's the only thing I can think of as as an obstacle because they are pretty. After the studio, I mean, like <laughs> the studio and Carrie, I, they've yeah, they've had mm-hmm. some obstacles already. Okay. Um. You said let's go, let's go. I'm trying, I'm trying. I'm looking for that. I'm weak, Carmen. <laughs> <laughs> with how quickly Jordan has moved on from Simone, do you think him moving forward with his? Feelings for Layla is a way for him to cope with his breakup. No. Nope. Wait, to who? Uh, is, I mean, he, no. is he coping with his breakup no. by these feelings with Layla or whatever? Girl, no. <laughs> no. Like mm-hmm. I like Kai and I mentioned, they basically broke up because of her. So, yeah, mm-hmm. no. Um. Yeah. It, them being together was the cope. That was the cope. It, it, break, it, it supposed to have been broke up a long time ago. Ben and broke also, up. he he coped by sleeping, both for Simone and well, I can't even. Don't put words in his mouth. No, don't put no. words in his mouth. I literally just stopped myself. I just stopped. He sorted through his feelings, that I think included Simone, but he sorted through his feelings Why are you by phone? sleeping with a. I'm I'm saying he mouth. sorted. I'm not putting words in his mouth. <laughs> I'm saying he sorted through his feelings that I think included Simone, but he sorted through his feelings for Layla uh, in that two and a half weeks after he and Simone broke up. But you said included. He never said that, but okay. But I think that involves him moving on. To he moved on after the letter and he hugged Spencer. It was over. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. Um. Uh, oh my goodness. Mm. Um... What do you think the situation will look like for the first step of them being official? How will they become official? I se- essentially, I think is that question. Layla's coming to her man, and she won't put them lips back on him. <laughs> <laughs> and he's gonna know. Okay, we're we're taking that next step. We're yeah, going. I think this. it's either gonna be somebody figures it out, or it's gonna be like a Spencer and Olivia like. You know, why did you pull back after Brinks did like that? Like not not that, but like essentially that. <laughs> it's 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 not gonna take long. It's not gonna take long for them to be. I give them thing. in the first episode. <laughs> literally, literally, like maybe episode two, maybe. Um, and I feel like this is like such a such a, a rhetorical question. Do you like them together? what makes you like them yes i do because of how honest they are with each other so yeah that's for (laughs) y'all do you like them together what makes you like them i love them together first of all yes let them together why let them together because they um push each other to be the best of who they are you know and it's for you know like she want jordan to be the best jordan for jordan and he won't Layla to be the best player for Layla. you know it's not yeah really about pushing each other to be their best selves as yeah. Jordan said. Yes. So. Kaya. Absolutely love them together. <laughs> <laughs> Why do I love them together? Um, it's the build up for me for them. Uh, I like who they are as individuals. I love who they push each other to be. Um, I love that they help to bring out the best and each other and that you can see how genuinely happy they are with each other and i'm like i want that for them i want them to love me too and me too uh how long just toss out an episode number how long till people find out about them let's say like the first person i give it like an episode first person i give it episode three episode three Mm mm-hmm I need my secret to last at least for two. That's true. That's that's true. Like couple. That's true. So I'm gonna take it back. I'm gonna take it back and say end of episode two. <laughs> we need the secret. 
Um, because again, I think it's gonna be a staggered approach. So I think somebody gotta yeah. find out by end of episode two. The first one, I say three. <laughs> um, what about you, Carmen? Um. By the way, JP already knows. Yeah, JP by knows. three, they gonna find out by three. Yeah, yeah. Girl. everybody or just the first person in the friend group? The first person. Really? Number one. But you don't think three? <laughs> I feel like that's so far. I'm mm-hmm. gonna, I'm gonna still say into two, into two. Do you um, think? All right. All do right. you think that Jordan is gonna give it away or Layla's gonna give it away? Jordan. <sighs> that's. I think it's gonna be both of them. I think because I think that they turn into fools in love around each other. So I think because be I about to say they surely yeah. can't catch on because they missing because they've been missing all season four together and nobody caught on. <laughs> Literally, can we talk about that for? I'm um, just a quick aside on that <laughs> is that. Nobody questioned. My favorite thing. Nobody questioned the fact that both Jordan and Layla missed Patience's release party after they left, essentially together. And nobody questioned Jordan going with her to the studio. Which time uh, he after. went like ten times this season. <laughs> I know. I meant sorry. I meant after the swatting. But the time that after they the swatting. Going. <laughs> after the swatting. But it's mm-hmm. just very hilarious that nobody. And and here's the other thing. Nobody is questioning why Jordan and Simone broke up. Mm-mm. They was waiting too. They seen it come. Like nobody texts Simone to be like, "Why did you and Jordan?" We got a group chat. We I, they have their own stuff. Yeah. We all got a group chat. We was taking a bid on how long it take a breakup. They knew. <laughs> That's probably true. It's probably true. Um, oh my gosh. Uh, so is Layla living at the beach house? It wasn't actually confirmed. We know it's uh, Liv. I thought everybody but Liv was living there. Right, right. So we know Liv for sure is with her parents. So is Layla at the mm-hmm. beach house living at the beach house currently? I said I think she's staying there but I think she was just avoiding door. But then I also was like, they ain't got that many bedrooms up in there. So where all them girls right. staying at? In the room with Jordan, in the room with all them girls in the room with me. <laughs> So I'm going to say, I I also think that she uh, is staying at the beach. She's like, it's like beach house, but like studio, studio, because she's definitely not staying with her dad. We know, we know, we know that the boys ain't buying a bag of peas. So the girls, somebody stand there. No, definitely (laughs) Patience and Cooper staying there. I do think Layla is officially staying there, but like, you know, it's not. It's not like super, super clear. Wait, but do y'all think they're still staying there? Because I'm like, they can go back home now. Nah, they ain't ready to go back home. They need all them to be at the same house. I, nah, they they scared. I, think that they, so I, I need I, Jordan to wear in the same room. <laughs> I mean, they can come back. <laughs> They could come back under the same roof. They could be. Sta- It'll be just like Spolivia. Look at how Spolivia is. They're literally living in separate home, separate homes. But, but that's they because they fully. That's, that's because they're they in a relationship. Be. They still in this whole. We not dating, but we gonna do everything but dating. Jordan's about to be yeah. like that once they get over this little this little break. First of all, until he wait till first of all, don't ready. say them because it ain't Jordan. It's later with the game. But okay, it's Layla. He wait right. for her to get over. Her she wanna play. Hello, wait. She wanna play. But we're gonna have fun. I'm gonna, I give her I give her majority of episode one. By the end of episode one, she done. She give it she run up. and then yeah, she can she stay on acting like a relationship but still talking about we not together. <laughs> yes. Neither, so so I'm gonna say that she is living officially at the boys, but they're like back. Because Olivia was back at the house at the end of the episode. Mm-hmm. So that's where I'm at. Uh, do you think they will address whether Jordan and Layla had a crush on each other when when they were younger? Probably. 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 If they do, it's going to be Olivia. Yeah. I feel huh? like Olivia will bring that up. That they had a crush on each other oh. when they were younger. Because I do think the crush was mutual. I don't think it was just I'm Jordan. Saying- no. You don't think? I say yeah, they did. Oh, okay. But do you think they're going to address yeah. it in the show? I think I could see Liv addressing it as like in a jokeful, like a playful way. Right. Same. And I think she would do it more so like as Jor having the crush on Lele, not Lele having the crush on him. Right. But I still do think both of them had a crush on I would love for yeah. Liv to be like, I tried my hardest to avoid this. <laughs> 
Like, like I didn't tell y'all that y'all had a crush on each other. That would be really funny. Would it not? <laughs> Would it, it not? She was just like, this was my worst nightmare come true. Okay. Right? <laughs> um, anyway. Anyway, these I feel like are similar, similar questions. Um, they're c- making a reference to the phone call conversation and how they were on the opposite sides of the bed. Uh, do you think that they're going to parallel that in some way in season five? Being on opposite sides of the bed? Like, meaning will they not like obviously there's they're sleeping together but like will they be in bed together like i think we'll see them for sure in bed together like, like sleeping do legitimately. we think we'll see them in bed together yeah <laughs> i think that yes, I, I think that's a fair side. bet <laughs> to make on the same sides yeah, on the same sides for sure that they were at, on uh and do you think that they're in game uh, or are they going to be that couple that dated when they were younger, but... Um... Get that negativity out of here. <laughs> this is the question. <laughs> no, I'm joking, go ahead. <laughs> Th- that's it. Like, do you th- What do you see? Uh, long-term relationship or marriage, but they just become great adult friends, possibly co- co-parenting, but are they in-game is basically the question. No, I think they're completely in game. This is the father of Lele's little girl that she said she wanted. Um, Jordan's gonna be such a great. He's gonna be such a great girl dad. He is. I can see it already, girl. I said, "Come on, Jordan. He's gonna make sure his little girl is straight, just like he be making sure mommy's straight." Right. I. I think that the writers have been too intentional. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. Huh? No, they're they're in game. That's it. Go ahead. No, and I was gonna say, I feel like the writers have been too intentional with her sitting in very similar spots, like when she, open your heart, and you know, don't forget I told you to open your heart when it comes to Jordan, and um, uh, sitting exactly. in the same spot when he's like that was confessing. almost close to like the psychic thing, right? In the phone call conversations, like they've just had too many, yeah. I think the writers have been too specific about them and I'll I'll leave it there. I think that they have a ton of parallels. I'll even say like the fact that they took the time to parallel and flash back to uh the 201 football game also is evidence. Mhm. Yeah. They're in game. They're in game. Yeah. Um plus There's not an ounce of doubt in my I mind. Can I say this this is just a hope of mine. This is just a hope of mine that we get just like we've gotten flashbacks to Spencer, Coop, and Sean when they were younger. I really want to get a flashback to Jordan, Layla, and Olivia when they were Me younger. Too. Like, Me too! Me too! You and me both, and I want a tent with just the two of them. <laughs> but and I want it, like, to be all three of them. Like, I don't, I just want to see their d- dynamic together. But also, yeah, like, little Jordan and Layla having a crush on each other, for sure. Oh, that would be so cute! And I'll push him out the tent! Yeah. It's not a room. <laughs> That, right. that was how we were like him. You know how you know how he was, they was younger. Exactly. You know, you be me to each right. other. You really like each other. Right, right. Um, do y'all think that Clay is gonna hurt Layla in some sort of way, or is he gonna be the villain? I don't think that Clay is gonna last very long. I don't think that that storyline is gonna last. Very long. I don't think so either, girl. If Clay, but if Clay knows the good for him, but leave Layla alone for she be all that stuff. She not really least don't carry, boy. Him. She ain't going for nobody else hurting her. Right. Mm-hmm. I don't need permission. If I wanted to hurt you, hit I'm giving you. him half a season. Yeah, I'll, I'll give him half a season, and that's being generous. Um, I really don't think that yeah. he's gonna put up a, a significant challenge for her. Um, <coughs> so ultimately, no. Ultimately, no. I don't think that he's gonna hurt her. Uh, and nah. these are just quick, quick fire questions. What's your favorite scene of this season between the two of them? Is it? What's a, what's the favorite scene? I'm gonna go quick fire. <laughs> I'm gonna go my favorite scene because it's just so special. To me. <laughs> me being like it's oh, so special on. to me being like, uh, Olivia's being me to be. No, uh, no, it's the phone call. It's the phone call. I knew it. <laughs> so yours, Kaya, and then Carmen. Um. Can I do two? Can I get? Can I get two? <laughs> Are we gonna do top three? Can I get okay, my top we'll three. do top I get the three. Season. 
if she get two, what? if she get two, <laughs> I get the season. What? No, no. Okay, <laughs> we'll each what? do. How about this? We'll, we'll top five, top five. You should be able to do top five, and, top and it five? doesn't have to be in order. It doesn't have to be in order. Okay. So go, or I can finish mine. So phone call, kiss, Jordan's confession. Uh, promise you I won't break. <laughs> this would be so much easier if I did episodes. Um, it's a toss up between the smile, the coffee smile, hiding the smile, and uh, Olivia's being mean to me like that. I love that so much. <laughs> <laughs> or five stars, five stars. Anyway, uh, yeah, those. Are, so Gaia, oh, Kaya, yeah. go. Um, I'm going to say. Confession? No, no, no. Scratch that, y'all. Scratch that, y'all. <laughs> I'm gonna say. Oh, actually, it's Lele's not in order. Yeah, it's not yeah, in order. Lele's confession. Huh? Yeah, it doesn't have to be in order, by the way. Oh, perfect. Okay. Lele's confession scene. So they're kissing. My y'all know this is up there for me. My look at the island. Uh, yes. Portwell. <laughs> love that look in my fit it's in my so fit special curl um lean into love. and the leaning come on they have to be <laughs> in game the callback to leaning with the Girl, song that song is what puts it up there for me uh, yes that's why that's it's just the song no it's the then. nice tough guy you're not crazy it's there's so many great moments in that moment <laughs> It's the build up. It's the build up with and it. her. It, everything she in that scans, scene. She scans his whole together. entire body as he's like playing with her hair. Like they're so lost. As she should. Like, it's as she should. Insane. Have you seen Jordan? <laughs> yeah, these are facts. <laughs> Yo, I told Lexi. Wait, hold on, really quickly, y'all. I, Carmen, I told Lexi if you look as soon as he asks her if she has feelings for him, look at the face he makes. It pauses on his face for a second. Girl, Jor Michael. Has never looked better as George. <laughs> he looks in that moment right there. Look at him, y'all. Pause it right there on that look. You have feelings for me? Pause it. <laughs> and look at him. Yes. Ooh, with the little squint. Um, what are we up to? Three. Oh, okay. So, this <laughs> scene. Um, 412 Island scene with the look. 401. Promise y'all won't break. Um, studio. Which one? I'm gonna combine. Studio. No, you can't combine. Studio you gotta, fight you gotta, you, okay, the fight scene. Yeah, yeah. Okay, studio so fight it's scene. basically ours is the same. <laughs> and number five is going to be. Mm. Oh, not the phone call. Um, the phone call's under there. <gasps> yes, phone call. So it's basically like we have the same top five. <laughs> I'm literally running through my mind trying to keep up with all these things. It's the same top five. I'm, I hate yeah. that the dance. I hate that the dance is not making the cup, but there's been so many great moments between them. It's not, but dance is in top ten. <laughs> it is in top ten. It is. A, it's in top ten. What about you, Carmen? I already said if she get more. I'm getting the whole season. I already. Mm, no, 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 no. Stop. Listen. Stop. No. Give us five? five. Give us five. Literally, just give us five. <laughs> Five. Uh, of course, you know number one studio fight. Two. It doesn't have to be um, in order. the yeah. dance. Okay, no, I'm no, I'm just listening, so I know what I'm on. Two dance. Um, three the kiss. The not just the kiss alone, but the whole scene. Um, yeah, yeah, we're doing yeah. scenes. Yeah. Okay, four. Um, what 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 was it? Ugh, it was the was that part of the other scene though? You know, I'm horrible episodes. I don't. What, what was happening? Was, yeah, you gotta give us some more information. She was like, "You can read my mind just like Jordan and Layla read each other's mind." <laughs> Yo, the, they was at the um. What the, the party thing? The the confession? His confession? No, 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 not the confession. Oh, the confession could be added too. The confession. 
You said they were see when together. I also loved when uh, Liv was like, I just want you to be, you know, feel love. Love that. Even though it's not oh, technically Lilith's them birthday together. party. Yes. Okay. Even though it's technically like them together. But Over the phone it was call together. <laughs> You have not mentioned a she single. Tried she tried. haven't mentioned a single 412 moment. This is very shocking. <laughs> What's 412? What's 412? The season, what? the phone call, the open up your heart, baby girl. <laughs> no, that was girl, just okay. That was that was they were just okay. Are you insane? Of the season, the the look? y'all only give me y'all only give me five. I said the season. You told me no to the season. <laughs> okay, let me not come for you about that. You say five, um, then you get yelled at me. Because okay, I okay, okay. Numbers. I don't remember numbers. It's too many. Feel free to answer this or not. What's your favorite edit of the two of them? Uh, you know, I don't know edits like you do. I mean, I you really don't. Honey, <laughs> Lexi, no, know, saying, like, Lexi know the songs. You know, we, we don't know the edits like you. Lexi. You have, you, you, have you, edit. I'm not saying, I'm not saying, I'm not saying that you do. Uh, and look, there's people that know edits better than I do. But uh, is there one that you... <laughs> that you I like the... Um, empty space because i love james arthur and i love that song yeah and it goes so nice lexi said it to me and i'm like obsessed obsessed i'm obsessed with the i'm yours edit that kaya did (laughs) that's the one i'm obsessed with that took some growing on me (laughs) (laughs) i'll also say a like 1b is the crush they did a one to to crush by david archuleta I love that song too. Um, Carmen, I'm like a sappy person. I can answer the Carmen's. The song the Carmen's is the power over me edit. Oh yes, I do love that one. I don't know because she the like would send been... me that edit like <laughs> just daily. But not just not just a lot of the new edits came out though. No. Wait, send it to me. Okay, wait. Now, also, by the way, can I say that like, Carmen's trying to act like I'm the edit person? And she was the first one to like introduce me to Jordan. No, 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 edits. not your edit person. You're better at knowing like the songs that's on the edits than I am. Oh, gotcha, 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 gotcha. Yeah. Oh, so Lexi's just passing. Yeah, on. yeah. yeah passing I'm definitely the, the edit is like fine. But now you ask me what songs on them, I'm like, uh. Got you, got you. Uh, and to, to end this, I'm gonna ask this on every single ship ship video. Uh, what is your favorite ship and why? My favorite ship. Your favorite ship on All American, and why? Favorite ship. See, this is it's going to seem biased because you have me on this podcast. Had I (laughs) favorite ship is going to be Jordala. Why though? Is it's the same reason as to why i think they're in game and why like do i like them Mm -hmm. together and why it's the same reason cool but it's who they are when they're with each other i like the way they push each other not saying other ships don't but it's the way that they do it and the fact that they're able to have these light moments with each other and then have something as serious and harsh as what they went through in the studio and then just be able to be truthful and honest consistently um whether the other person wants to hear it or not, but you know it's what they need to hear. I don't know. It's the way it's been built up. And then also with them being like childhood friends and experiencing relationships with other people, going through their own issues separately, him always being in the background since the beginning (laughs) with her. Yeah. um, And seeing her at her worst and being there to help her out of that. Yeah. It, it's a beautiful story. That's what it is. It is I love a beautiful their story. story, where it started and what it's grown to be. And I'm, just like, <laughs> I'm like smiling, listening yeah, to you talk about ship. them. <laughs> <laughs> it is. Go ahead, Corin. I go on and on. My okay, favorite Carmen. ship is Spinjola. <laughs> <laughs> if you had to choose one, I'm gonna force you into a choice. If you had to choose, I one, just one. gave it to you, Spinjola. No, that's a ship, Carmen. You gotta. That's a ship, Carmen. Spinjola, no, Spinjola. Carmen, you gotta answer the question. Carmen, we're not okay. going to until you answer the question. That is you my are answer. It's Spinjola. You are Samantha Logan. That's a that's a great question. <laughs> no, you gotta answer the question. 
No. I answered the question. It's Benjorla. So is it Spolivia or is it Jordala? It's Benjorla. It's together. They not, oh I'm not separating gosh, them. Bro. No, you have no. to. You literally. Yes. No. No. We're just gonna. We're just gonna. Karma, wait. you can't do we're this. We're just gonna wait. <laughs> the connection. Karma, just <laughs> the people want to know. <laughs> I just gave I the people the answer. I love them equally. I love them equally. Spend your love. No. Who would Spend you Layla? prefer Whatever to you be say in it. game? Both. Who would you prefer to be in game? Oh my gosh. Both. Okay. Well, Carmen. If is... AA said there was only room for one. To I'm be not in watching. Game, which would you choose? Oh my gosh. She's ridiculous. <laughs> uh. So, uh, Lexi, yeah. bully, bully Carmen, yeah. bully Carmen in the comments because she didn't give an answer to the question. Um, I'm gonna say it's it's after much chagrin <laughs> and after much bullying from both Car <laughs> Kaya and Carmen uh, because I was and don't even lie to the people. I'm not. Li Are you serious? I was always just like Spolivia, Spolivia all the way. Y'all, I don't bully. <laughs> she does, um, but. Jordala has slightly overtaken Spolivia. And I'll say this, it's, yeah, all of the stuff that I said about each other and everything that Kai, huh? Blasphemy. What you say, Go ahead. Blasphemy. What, Go blas ahead. About what? Blasphemy about wow. what? Wow. About what? Just <laughs> blasphemy. Like, what's blasphemy? I'm confused. They have to be equal. So you can't wait. What's equal? You're making your choice, then Carmen. Carmen, you're making. I'm not making my choice. It's got to be right. equal. She's you can't literally put one over the getting. Other. She's because can't people are asking me to other. choose. Because people are asking me to choose, I'm choosing. Um, and like I said, it's it's been a slight, uh, the slight edge to Jord Jordala. But I honestly think it's not even necessarily for anything that's happened like on the show. It's because as a as a writer and writing their dynamic before it took place on our screens like it's always gonna have a special place in my heart for that reason because like just as i watched the season progress um it, it was insane to see it was insane to see like things that i wrote with carmen uh sort of come to life on screen um but i like Spolivia is the blueprint, period. Like, Spolivia is the br blueprint, and they are the couple of the show. Um, and it's not like a... It's not like a crazy difference between the, the preference that I have for these two ships. But yeah, that's my answer. That's my answer. Those, those are all of our answers. Uh, but yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed that. I hope y'all enjoyed that. And stay tuned for the next episode.